Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 25th Excel 2007 tutorial. And today should be a pretty quick tutorial and actually I was just going to answer some questions and comments that I had. So the first thing I want to do is talk about tables and I have two questions with regards to tables. So I'm going to create a table out of this uh, data here. Insert table. I'm going to leave the box check for my table has headers and you can see it created a table and I have all sorts of options now to sort, sort by color um, and just select certain options here. So first thing I want to show you is how to remove the header row is one of the questions that was asked. So if I go, if I highlight anywhere in the table here and I go to the design tab and then you'll notice I have tab table style options I can uncheck header row and you can see it just gets rid of it completely. Check it again, it will wipe it out. Okay? Or, sorry, it will add it back. Um, another thing is how do I undo a table? How do I get rid of a table? Not get rid of it, delete it, delete the data, but I no longer want the table options here. So the simplest thing to do is if you just created the table, is just do an undo. However, the more likely scenario is you've created a table, you've done some editing, you've done other things, and now it's a week, a day later, whatever it is, and you want to delete your, you want to remove the table formatting from this um, spreadsheet here, or from this worksheet. So what you can do here is highlight uh, in the table again, go to the design tab, and you want to go over here to the tools and say convert to range. Okay, and then it will ask you if you want to convert the table to a normal range. You say OK. And there you notice there's no more, um, you know, sort options, table options. It's just normal spreadsheet data. It left all the uh, formatting here so you could go in here. Um, let's add the table back. You could go in into the table, create a table, and then you could go over here to design, and you could do different options here. Like if you wanted to change uh, change uh, data, change the style, you could go over here, uncheck banded rows, and you could go experiment with it to come up with different uh, different styles. Okay, so uh, because it will keep the formatting of the color and so forth, you know, after you do the um, after you convert the uh, the table back to a, just a range of data. So that's what I want to talk about as far as the um, tables go. And then one other question that I had is in regards to password and password protection. So the question was if I go under, um, I did an example in the past where I did protect the workbook and I protected the structure of the workbook and I put in a password and then I re-entered it and so now I've got a password. Now you notice I can't I can't do things like insert worksheets and so forth. So the idea was to protect the workbook so only people with the password could go in and make these changes. So now if I would like to remove that password, all you need to do is go back to the review tab and you'll notice now it changed to unprotect workbook and only the person with the password can unprotect it. Okay? So I'm gonna enter my password and then now you notice it changed back to protect workbook and now you notice that I have all those options again so that's how you remove the password and that's all I wanted to share with you for tonight so thanks for joining and please don't forget to subscribe thanks bye